Thank you for watching KXAN Live News Notes. I'm Amanda Dugan. And I'm Will Dupree. These are the stories we think you should know most about, and we'll cover them all in about five minutes. So we're learning more, Will, about why it has taken so long to get information about a black man's death at the hands of Williamson County deputies. We're talking about a man named Javier Ambler. He died 15 months ago after he was tased four times telling deputies, I can't breathe. That, of course, has taken added significance recently in light of what happened to George Floyd in Minneapolis. And Austin police, who helped on scene, just released body cam footage this week. That's what you're watching. Now, the reason for the delay and the lack of other information is Texas's so-called dead suspect loophole. It applies to public records. Yeah, and only basic information has to be released if the suspect is not convicted or placed on deferred adjudication, like if they die in custody, which Ambler did. The Williamson County Sheriff's Office asked the Attorney General what it was required to release about the case citing this law. The AG said only basic information needed to be shared. Right now the law is is not working and we are seeing new videos all the time that come out from a year ago or more. El Paso State Representative Joe Moody fought to change that law last legislative session, but it failed. Moody says he will again work to close the dead suspect loophole next legislative session. Well, the Williamson County Sheriff's Office told us it cannot comment right now on the Javier Ambler investigation. It does say statements made by Travis County District Attorney Margaret Moore that they stonewalled the investigation are false. Moore also criticized the reality show Live PD, saying that the show would not release footage that it shot of this encounter. Now, Sheriff Chody's office says it remains ready and willing to participate in the investigation and request that Live PD release that footage. All right, well, there's one problem, though, here, Will, because that footage, it no longer exists. The network that airs Live PD says that neither A&E nor the show's producers were asked for the footage. Once the investigation was over, the network said it followed its standard procedure and did not keep the unaired video. Well, today, Austin City Council and the Capital Metro Board will vote on the Project Connect Transit Plan, which would bring big changes to this area. Yeah, to say the least. So the plan adds three new light rails. It expands and improves bus routes and even builds a tunnel downtown. Yeah, the proposed routes would travel north, south, and east out to the airport, all connecting at that underground tunnel. The entire project, it won't be cheap. It will cost close to $10 billion. Today's vote, though, is just on the plan itself. When Cab Metro and the city of Austin work on their budgets this summer, we'll know a whole lot more about how they'll pay for that project. Hey, if you live in South Austin, you have a new shopping uh, option for you. The HEB that's at Slaughter and Congress, it officially opened today. Yeah, and take a look at this video from this morning. Mm -hmm. People lined up to be the first customers into this brand new store. And get this, the store comes with its own barbecue restaurant and drive through yeah, so HEB, this is why the company is so well-loved in Texas. To celebrate this whole opening, they donated $70,000 to local nonprofits and schools. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And the store's new hours are from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. And we also want to point out that it has expanded organic options as well as beer and wine. Yeah, you got to have the important stuff. Right? But look at that line out there. I know. Wow. Yeah, this is people were lining up before the doors even open. So as we said, HEB, very well well loved in the state of Texas. All right, well thank you for watching KXAN Live News Notes. I'm Amanda Dugan. And I will Dupree. We'll see you back here tomorrow.